What I find interesting, having been involved in these debates over the years, both in the House and the Senate, is that there is a very different view about how to stimulate the economy and create work. And um, one, which has been talked about and, and done over and over again, trickle-down economics, tax cuts in the, the 2000s, two different tax cuts, the uh, $2 trillion Trump tax cut, always going to the wealthy, well-connected at the top, and then we're told, don't worry, we'll, we'll stimulate that, and then it will trickle down to everybody else, and people in Michigan are still waiting. I mean, it just, it has never, never worked. So now we're trying something different uh, under this administration, which is actually investing in people, investing in America, rebuilding America, bringing jobs home, uh, we're seeing 13 million, job, uh, 13 million jobs created in less than two and a half years by investing in people in America, in creating uh, uh, jobs and uh, creating opportunity for people. So to me, it's, you know, we, we have this debate over and over and over again. In fact, it's starting again because the U.S. House, who was just complaining about deficits and bringing us to the verge of a default for our country, has now put in a, a new tax bill that if it would be permanently uh, voted and put into law, would be another trillion dollars in deficits. And so it's, it's always about whatever the problem, a tax cut will solve it. Whatever, but not for everybody. Not for the poor, not for working families, not for working moms. Only for those at the top, and then we hold our breath and hope that it trickles down. And so I think it's time really to debunk that. And even when we talk about work, of course we all support work. Of course this is about creating opportunity and lifting people up in the middle class. But I also see different um, ways of looking at it. My friend, Senator Grassley, who has led us on the Agriculture Committee to say if you're going to get a government payment, uh, a farm payment, you should be actively engaged in the farm. And yet we have Republican colleagues who have uh, not supported that for years and years and years. And so uh, this is really about who we're trying to lift up, in my opinion, and where our priorities are. And so I would just say I'm a proud sponsor of the Working Families Tax Relief Act. I can't imagine how we can uh, argue with the results that in only one year we cut child poverty in half, we uh, cut food insecurity by 24 percent, lifted 3.7 million kids out of poverty. Why in the world uh, wouldn't we want to continue that? Good morning, friends. New information has just been released. At least six states are delivering stimulus checks this June to all eligible Americans. And these payments can be worth anywhere from $100 to thousands of dollars, depending on your income. This relief comes at the right time, as millions of Americans face increasingly high utility bills. My dearest friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to find out if your state is sending out relief payments. Also, to say thank you for being part of this community, I will be announcing several winners this coming Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, all you need to do is click in like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on my friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Inflation has slowed for the 11th straight month with the year over year rate dropping from 4.9% to 4%. This largely reflects flat food prices, declining costs for some consumer goods, such as appliances, and 11.7% year-over-year reduction in energy prices as measured by the CPI. While the rate of inflation is declining, it's not yet clear whether it will drop to the Federal Reserve's target rate of 2% anytime soon. That's because core inflation remains stubbornly high at a year-over-year -year rate of 5.3%. A survey by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York suggests Americans have to come to view inflation as a less acute but more stubborn problem than they once did. But some U.S. states are still distributing payments to their residents to help them with the high cost of living. New York City is currently issuing property tax rebates 
of $150 to eligible homeowners. The rebate is for homeowners whose New York City property is a primary residence and whose combined income is $250,000 or less. Most homeowners should have received the rebates, but for those who did not and believe they may qualify, you can submit an application. For homeowners in New York State, the Homeowner Tax Rebate Credit is a one-year program providing property tax relief with payments of up to $1,050. The state of California began sending out payments as part of its middle-class tax refund last fall. Almost 32 million taxpayers and their dependents have benefited from payments of up to $1,050. But earlier this year, it emerged that more than 1 million Californians had not activated their debit cards that contained their payments. According to Newsweek, recipients who have not activated their card will receive a reminder letter with instructions on activating their debit card. The state of Georgia is also sending out a surplus tax refund of up to $250 for single or married separate filers, up to $375 for heads of household, and $500 for married joint filers. In New Jersey, taxpayers who meet eligibility requirements will be receiving up to $1,500 through the Anchor Property Tax Relief Program. Governor Phil Murphy's office said earlier this year that more than 1.7 million New Jersey residents applied for this program. The State Division of Taxation has said that the Anchor benefit payments will be distributed through the summer. So friends, if you qualify and you are a resident of New Jersey, it is likely that your check will be arriving very soon. The state of Pennsylvania will begin sending out payments of up to $650 as part of its property tax and rent rebate program in July. The program benefits eligible Pennsylvanians who are 65 years and older, widows and widowers age 50 and older, and individuals with disabilities age 18 and older. The current income limit is $35,000 a year for homeowners and $15,000 annually for renters, and half of Social Security income is excluded. Senate Democrats have also just confirmed Jared Bernstein as the White House chief economist despite opposition from Senator Joe Manchin and Republicans. The Senate approved the longtime confidant of President Biden to chair the Council of Economic Advisors in a 50 to 49 vote. After Senator Manchin revealed he would vote against Bernstein earlier Tuesday, Senate Democrats had a brief scare over whether Vice President Harris would be needed to break a tie on his confirmation. But the absence of GOP Senator Tommy Tuberville allowed the left-leaning economists to make it through without her help. Bernstein is set to take the helm of the Council of Economic Advisors at a pivotal moment for Biden and the U.S. economy, with the Federal Reserve weighing its options against inflation in the face of a hot labor market. He will be responsible for steering the White House's reaction to a potential downturn just as Biden makes a bid for another four years in office. Republicans have criticized Bernstein for his role in advancing Biden-backed spending bills that they said pumped fiscal stimulus into the economy. During the Obama administration, Bernstein led Biden's economic policy team and was executive director of a White House task force on middle-class living standards. He later worked with Republican economists on early drafts of Opportunity Zone legislation that was signed into law by former president in the 2017 tax bill. Well, my magnificent and most marvelous friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Wednesday. Thank you, friends, for being here and for being part of this community. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, I will be announcing several winners this coming Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter the weekly giveaway, friends, all you need to do is click in like several of my videos 
and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you watch and then comment on, the greater your chances, friends, of winning the giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed week.